you've got your eyelid you've got your brow bone which is here you've got your crease which is here so that's your socket area this bit here the part that indents in above the ball of your eye is your socket below that that's your eyelid this area here all the way across is your lash line this is the inner corner here this is the outer corner there so it's the end of the lash line the beginning of the lash line Hey everyone and we're back with another educational video. Today's video is me showing you how to prep the eyes and then also apply eyeshadow like a pro. The full basics, so everything you need to know, how to set your eyes, how to then apply the eyeshadow, the blending, everything, it's so detailed. You guys are gonna love this video. Now, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And don't forget, I'm also on Instagram too, so come say hi there. Now let's head straight into the video. So you guys obviously loved my previous video, which was about how to apply eyeshadow like a pro. The basics. So I decided to do another one because so many of you guys have commented on that video saying, please, can you show us how to also prep the eye? So I thought, let me do a different eye look because obviously then you guys have a bit more of a variety to learn from. And I'll also be showing you how to prep the eyes. So as you can see, I have nothing on my eyelid at the moment. The rest of my face is all done. So what I'm going to do is start off with a little bit of eye cream. Now the eye cream I'm going to use is the Drunk Elephant C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. You can use any kind of eye cream. This is just my go-to daytime eye cream. And I'm just gonna use a very small amount. And when I say small amount, it's a small amount. Tiniest amount, it's like a little dot. And what I do, and sometimes even that is a little bit too much. And what I do is I just kind of like press it over the lid. And you can see I'm just kind of like tapping it in because you really want to make sure that that area has good hydration before you start applying your makeup. As you can see, I'm pretty tanned at the moment because we had a little staycation for our wedding anniversary. Yeah, I was by the pool a lot and I kind of like, I'm a little bit burnt. Not good, I know, but actually, it was because we got chatting to people while we were in the pool and it was just talking for so long and then we ended up like not getting out soon enough. And yeah, I've learned from my mistake. So anyway, I, I am actually gonna do another video for you guys about how to apply makeup when you are overly tanned because I don't know about you guys, but do you find sometimes like, if you're like overly tanned, if you've been tanning, maybe you've got a lot darker, do you find it more difficult to apply your makeup? Now in terms of colors, that doesn't bug me. I'm good with colors, I'm good with matching colors, I'm good with making my foundation look darker, but sometimes what it is, it's the texture of the skin. Because it's obviously a little bit more cooked, it can be a bit harder to kind of make everything look really nice and smooth and healthy by the way i was wearing spf so you know don't think i was just sitting there cooking like i don't endorse that for anyone but you know at the end of the day i was in the pool and it was very hot it's super hot here in dubai at the moment so it happens but anyway i'm gonna apply my concealer i'm using my Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in warm beige it's a darker shade of concealer than i usually use because obviously i am a lot darker and i'm going to be applying this on my eyelid so all i'm doing is just putting a couple of dots here now I'm getting my sponge, I'm using the Real Techniques complexion sponge. No specific reason, I just alternate between Beauty Blender and whatever I have, which currently is this. And this sponge is a little bit damp. It's still a little bit damp from earlier today when I used it. So just so that you guys know. And then now I'm just gonna like press the concealer into my lid and you'll see how this is gonna give a super nice clean finish to my eyelid. There, perfect. And all I'm doing is kind of bouncing the sponge over my eyelid area. And then before it starts creasing up, I wanna make sure that I add my powder. So I've got my Huda Beauty Easy Bake sponge. I'm just gonna dust it off. Now that in itself has basically prepped my eye. So I put my concealer on, I buffed it into my skin, made sure there are no creases there, and then I put my powder on. So I pressed it in with a powder puff. I always press it in with a powder puff, and then I kind of use a brush to just dust off the excess. Only a little bit of powder, because I don't feel like you actually need a lot of powder there. It's just a little bit to kind of like hold it in place. And that is my kind of like almost my eye priming done. So I don't use eye primers because this technique works way better for me. And I feel like 
like there's no kind of separation between where I've applied the eye primer and where I'm going to be applying eyeshadow. Like sometimes if you apply eye primer just on a certain area and then you apply eyeshadow on top of that and then it goes above it a little bit, you can see that obvious line there. So this way I feel like it's a more traditional approach, but I honestly prefer it way better than using eye primer. Now I'm going to be using the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Eye Color and I'm using the color Marooned. This is one of my favorite pencils when it comes to kind of like blending eyeshadow because I feel like when you're using powder eyeshadows it's slightly different it's a lot easier to use pencils if you're new so the reason I'm using pencils at the moment is because I really want to make it easy for you I want you to feel comfortable doing this then we can kind of like progress onto kind of like powder eyeshadows so if you're wondering why in the previous video and in this video I'm using pencils because I really want to kind of ease you guys into it and then we can progress I'm going to be using this pencil all over my lid and kind of like not all over I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap but I'll explain as I'm going along and then I'm going to blend so I've got my application and then I've got my blending don't be afraid to kind of pause this wherever you need to pause it so that you can catch up what I would really suggest is getting your makeup and hopefully if you've got similar pencils then get them out watch the video through get all of the products that you need to get and then do it again but with me so you can pause it as you're going along and actually blend exactly the way that I'm doing it honestly you will find it so easy okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this on majority of my eyelid here and let me just explain the structure of the eye I know I've done this in a previous video but honestly you know some of you guys are new to this video you maybe haven't watched the other video so I'm just going to kind of briefly run through that so you've got your eyelid you've got your brow bone which is here you've got your crease which is here so that's your socket area this bit here the part that indents in above the ball of your eye is your socket below that that's your eyelid this area here all the way across is your lash line this is the inner corner here this is the outer corner there so it's the end of the lash line, the beginning of the lash line. Then, like I mentioned, you've got the brow bone here, right? Now, okay, what I'm going to be doing is applying this all over the eyelid, and I'm not going to go above the socket area, because as soon as we start blending, it's naturally going to kind of like go out towards that socket area. So what happens is a lot of people tend to make the mistake with eyeshadow where they apply it in all the places they want it to end up looking, even after blending. And what that means is you've applied it too big, like you've created too much of that space there. There. like you've colored in too much of that space and what you've done is you've gone with the kind of like intention of it looking like that right at the end but what you fail to realize is that if you keep it small to begin with the blending will naturally kind of like disperse all of that color out making it bigger so that you end up with that kind of look that you want so always start small and it's naturally going to blend out i am going to just apply this all over my lid here you i'm going to show you where i've kind of like left a gap in a bit don't worry about it being neat, honestly, as long as it's like roughly a semicircle, that's fine. Okay, we've kind of coloured it in. You can see we've left a little bit of a gap there. I'll explain why in a second. Now I'm going in with my Sigma Detail Blending Brush E27, and I'm just using the tip, and I'm only going to be blending the edges of this. So just where you can see that harsh edge, you know, like where it looks a little bit messy, and I'm pressing, pressing, and kind of like, I'm not dragging, I would say it's kind of like flicking. So as I'm pressing down, as it lifts, it's flicking. And you've got to do this pretty quick because obviously these pencils kind of like, they do dry pretty quickly and you don't want to wait too long. So you want to make sure you have the brush ready. Now, can you see that this color is gradually going up as we're blending? Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure at the end of the lash line, it goes slightly up so we have that lifted look. Remember we left this gap here. Can you see why now? Because if I went all the way in, what happens, it's going to really go into that inner corner. And honestly, I don't really want too much of that brush to be right on the inside of my kind of inner corner of my eye because what that's going to do is end up making everything look close together and I don't want that I want to kind of open up that area after with a different color so that's why I kind of left a gap because as soon as I start blending it's naturally going to look like it's fading in anyway whereas if I had applied it all the way in it would have been a lot darker on that area now as you can see we're kind of like going in the direction that we want that blending to be so that flick is going towards the direction of where we want the color to go hopefully that makes sense and you've seen that it's very quickly kind of like blended out like I'm happy with how that looks now now what I want to do is create a little bit of depth in the eye and I'm going to be using a darker brown pencil now I'm using the Maybelline tattoo liner it's a gel pencil and I'm using the shade bold brown and what I'm going to do this dries quite quickly as well so I need to get my brush ready for this okay this brush that I'm using is the Zueva 230 brush and I've got that ready now what I'm going to do is apply 
apply this along my lash line and you don't have to worry about making it look really perfectly clean or like an eyeliner because we're going to be blending it. it's going to be buffing into the base color so it kind of creates this really nice gradient effect so it's slightly darker around the lash line and then it's going like slightly lighter right so what i'm going to do is do it in small sections i don't want to go all the way across the whole lot also i want a very nice lifted feline look so what i'm going to do is start on this area first so you can see i've drawn a little line here and I haven't actually taken it out to the end of the lash line, like past it. Now I'm getting this brush, same thing, flicking. So like kind of like pressing and flipping. And I'm going into the lash. And we can keep building that up. So can you see like I'm going like very close together. I'm not going here, then here. I'm like, I've got some kind of like fluidity here, like the direction in which I'm going, going into the lash line. And slowly now I'm gonna lift this bit here. So what I'm doing again, pressing, flicking out. I'm flicking upwards and outwards so that it takes that direction of blending up into this area. So now I feel like that's a little bit more darker there. And I'm gonna go into this center section here. So I don't know why that didn't come out of my mouth, right? But I'm gonna do the same thing, but I kind of like wanted the thickness to be on the edge of the eye. So here, what I'm doing, again, Again, same thing, pressing and flicking, pressing and flicking. So what I'm doing is like press, flick, press, flick, right? Hopefully that kind of makes it easy for you. Okay, now inner lash line here. Can you see we've done three sections there and they've all kind of like met together. So like it's all connected. There. I don't really want any more on the inner corner there because I feel like that's enough. But what I do want to do is thicken this. So I'm going to go a little bit thicker here now. So almost a little bit lifted, can you see? And then same thing. And this is where, where you're gonna flick is just in different directions, whatever direction you feel that you need to kind of drag that color. So I feel like I'm just gonna like flick upwards here. Because obviously you guys are gonna be maybe doing this along with me and each and every one of you has a different eye shape. So when I'm kind of like flicking and I'm saying to you like flick in the direction that you want it to go, even if you are unable to do a particular eye look, even if you look at this and you're like, I'm not gonna be able to do that, right? Firstly, you don't know because you haven't tried yet. When I'm saying to you that, you know, go take it in the direction that you wanted to take it, the reason I'm saying that is because you know what look you're going for, right? As much as you may not feel comfortable or confident in actually blending or doing the look, you still envision the type of look you want. So you know in your mind, I wanted to go for this type of look, so really I want it to go a bit more higher here. So you know that much. And if you know that much, that's the first step in getting to the next step. It's the first step in actually executing what you're trying to do, you know? So hopefully that will make sense. It's like, I know I was like stopping and pausing a lot, but I was just trying to make it like super easy to understand. So yeah, so basically we've thickened this bit here. I know that I want it to kind of like go up a bit more. So I know that when I'm kind of like flicking, I'm flicking it up because that's the direction I want the blending to go, right? Okay, now next up, I'm gonna go back to that nude sticks pencil and I am gonna take this on my lower lash line and I'm not gonna go in my waterline. I'm literally just gonna be applying it right into my lower lashes and I'm taking another brush this is actually the same brush I was using but just another one and I'm just gonna like basically press and flick and I'm actually flicking into the lash line because I don't want the color to go any lower than where it already is okay this bit here I'm not applying any more color but I'm gonna go like to the side like back and forth just to kind of drag it inwards because I don't actually want to apply more color there but I just want to drag whatever color's already there I don't want it to be any darker down there so I'm not gonna apply that other pencil okay so this is where I'm gonna use my Sigma pencil brush it's E30 I'm gonna go into my Natasha Denona bronze palette I'm using the shade true bronze right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually come right from the inner corner at the top top of my lash line inner corner and I'm gonna drag the color inwards but not too much right you can go as far in as you want but I don't really want it to be like I don't want it to take over the eye look I just want it to be kind of like peeking through so can you see that color coming through now what I'm gonna do I've got a little chunk of it there what I'm gonna do is just take this brush whatever's left on it I'm actually skimming now I'm using the side of the brush and it's skimming along my skin very lightly dragging this color so that it kind of like blends into the rest of the eye and I'm only touching the edges now and we can take this right here because that will kind of like open up the eye a bit more and we can also kind of like bring it down here i think it looks really nice here you know when you apply it just on your lower lash line but just a bit on like towards the middle i mean the inner corner i'm just going to take that dark pencil again 
and I'm just gonna like kind of add a bit more darkness here you know like really close to my lash line now the reason being is because I've applied that kind of like gold shade and what it's done is covered up some of the dark shade that we had there and I don't want it to look like completely blank okay just gonna apply a tiny bit of mascara because I'm gonna put some lashes on okay so all I'm doing is just kind of like placing that lash just above my lash line that's it and i trim them by the way as well and if you want to know how to apply lashes there is a video on my youtube channel called how to apply eyelashes you'll find it under the lashes playlist or eyes lift playlist just going to apply a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes so this is just like a very easy smoky eye which is kind of more on the brown side and i want to go ahead and do the other side now talk you through it as well if you feel that you are gaining something from a video or a book or anything i always feel like you should watch it twice first time round, you, you'll be surprised at how much you will actually absorb the second time round that you didn't absorb the first time around so i would always recommend that watch the videos twice because it's really really going to help you start to finish and just kind of like color in my lid creating a rough semicircle not going above my socket color it all in so it's nice and even there you go leave a little bit of a gap on the inner corner just in case you don't want it like overly dark especially if you want to like increase the width between your eyes like you want to just space it out a bit you don't want it to look too close together okay remember pressing flicking press and flick by the way, guys, can I just say thank you so much because I'm sure the ones, you know, those of you who have been here right from the start, you've seen how the channel has grown so much right from the beginning. And obviously at the beginning, I had time to answer everyone on all the comments and like leave, leave like in-depth personalized comments. And I honestly wish I had the time to do that now, but the channel has grown so much. It's really, it's like so difficult to do that with every comment. So I just take a certain amount out like every other day and then respond to whatever comments are there. And if I don't have time as I'm going along, I'm like kind of I'm always reading always reading them but just like sending you some emojis just sending you some love some peace you know I do read it and I really appreciate it but I have noticed those of you and I you know when you when I see your username I know okay this person's been following me for a while I know this person but sometimes your usernames are not your exact names like it's like drx something blah 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 I don't always know what your name is but I know you, I see you, I totally see you guys. And I've noticed that some of you guys are actually responding to new people who have come to the channel and are leaving comments and maybe don't know me that well. And you guys know me so well. And you guys are actually answering their comments for me. Can I just say that honestly makes my heart melt. It makes me feel so happy to know that you guys have almost kind of like you've got my back. It's such a strange thing because I've never met you guys, but I feel so close to you because I feel like it's just so strange because it's like kind of like I don't want to get emotional about it because I actually do feel quite emotional about it but it's kind of strange because I just have never met you and I just feel like oh my god I've I've known you guys for so long even though I may not know you the way that you know me I still know some part of you because I see your comments I see like you commenting on other comments and like you know you're you, I've seen some of you guys like comment on other people commenting saying oh actually she's already done a video on that it's on her playlist or actually here's the link for the video and i cannot begin to tell you like that is so invaluable like it just to have people that do that kind of thing for you it's, it's just amazing i really do truly appreciate it and i just want you guys to know that i see it i see you and i love you i do i do appreciate it. i just want to say thank you for that because it was something that i noticed recently and i was like this is just so cute so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do this under eye area as well so now we're going in with that darker pencil and remember like we're applying it slightly thicker at the end and then we're gonna just do it like step by step so we're not necessarily doing all the way across i'm gonna get my the waver brush press and flick same thing remember the flicking you do that in the direction that you want the blending to go okay we're just going in with that powder gold shadow there you are, I'm just going to drag it very lightly and I'm just going to apply a little bit more of that pencil there. Do you know what I just realised guys? I didn't put any mascara on this lash. But you know what? We've done it still, so there you go. But I will apply it to the lower lashes. 
like if you guys do recreate this please do let me know how it went and like what people said to you like do people really like it what kind of comments did you get i always feel like that's a good indication as to what way your makeup's going and and not everyone does comment like you know when you know and you're like i know i look good today like i know i put in extra effort or i know that i've managed to master this eye look and i couldn't do it before and it looks so good on me right now if you know that there's nothing wrong with that you know some people tell you some people don't know that you look good that's all that really matters to be honest but if people do if you have the really good friends who will be honest with you and tell you and that's always a kind of like just a kind of like helping hand of kind of pushing you in the right direction that you know okay i'm on the right path right now i can only get better wow i'm like super brown I'm so brown, I think you can see, yeah, look at that. You know another thing I, I noticed, like some of you, I have some people view comments saying that, you know, will you like get to the point? Or will you like, you know, you talk too much or whatever, like, I'm so used to it now. I don't get over, like a lot, but you know, the odd few messages here and there. Then I see you guys commenting on their comments, totally having my back. And you're like, hold up, are you crazy? Like seriously like it's an educational channel you know what it makes me feel so secure in what i'm doing and it also makes me feel like i've got like just this you guys are like my guardian angels i feel like i've got this like protection around me that was my little rant it's over now just wanted to tell you guys how much i love you and how much i appreciate you and how much i see you so anyway this is done and i really do hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. Now, as always, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.